Imagine this, you've just had a long, exhausting day. Work was relentless, your inbox is flooded, and the meeting seemed endless. Now you're finally home, and all you want to do is relax. So you dim the lights, maybe put on some soothing music, and tell yourself, I need to relax. But as you try to unwind, something strange happens. Instead of feeling calm, you feel even more tense. Your mind starts racing, your body feels restless, and you can't seem to settle down. Sounds familiar? You're not alone. In today's day and age, many of us experience this. The harder we try to relax, the more stressed we become. It's a strange phenomena, but there's a psychological explanation behind it. And understanding this can actually change the way you approach relaxation and self-care. The idea of forcing relaxation is actually inherently flawed. When you push yourself to relax, you're engaging in a form of self-imposed pressure. It's as if you're setting an expectation for yourself. I must relax now. But here's the catch. Relaxation isn't something you can demand from yourself or command. It's a state of being that comes naturally when the conditions are right. According to psychological research, when we put pressure on ourselves to relax, our minds often rebel. So instead of calming down, we become hyper aware of the fact that we are not relaxing. And this awareness can actually trigger a stress response, which is the exact opposite of what we were trying to achieve. It's a bit like telling yourself not to think about a pink elephant. The more you try not to think about it, the more it dominates your thoughts. And this is known as ironic process theory, a concept first introduced by social psychologist Daniel Wegner. The theory suggests that when we try to suppress certain thoughts or behaviors, we inadvertently increase their occurrence. So when you're trying to force relaxation, you're likely to end up more stressed because your mind keeps reminding you that you're failing to relax. But why does this happen and especially after a hectic day? Many of us find comfort in being busy. We fill our schedules to the brim, constantly moving from one task to the next. On the surface, it seems productive, but there's a deeper reason why we prefer to stay busy. It's a form of avoidance. So when you're busy, your mind is occupied. You don't have the time or mental space to dwell on unresolved issues, lingering doubts or unprocessed emotions. It's like keeping your mind on a treadmill, always moving, never stopping. But the moment you try to step off and relax, all those suppressed thoughts and feelings start flooding back in. Suddenly, your mind is no longer distracted and it begins to process everything that you've been avoiding throughout the day. This is why so many people feel more stressed when they try to relax after a long day. It's not that the relaxation itself is stressful, but rather the absence of busyness allows unresolved issues to surface. So your mind starts processing everything you were too busy to address during the day and this can be overwhelming. Another reason why forced relaxation can actually backfire is that it disrupts our illusion of control. When we feel busy, we feel in control. We have tasks to complete, goals to achieve, and a sense of purpose. But relaxation requires us to let go of that control. It's about surrendering to the moment, allowing ourselves to be still and trusting that everything will be okay. For many people, this loss of control can be very uncomfortable. We're so used to being in charge, managing every aspect of our life that the idea of simply being feels foreign and even threatening. So when we try to force ourselves to relax, we resist it. We hold on to the sense of control and in doing so, we prevent ourselves from truly unwinding. So what's the solution? How can we truly relax without falling into the trap of forced relaxation? The answer lies in understanding the importance of mental and emotional processing, what I like to call as emptying the box. Imagine your mind is a box that you fill with thoughts experiences, emotions, and ideas throughout the day. Every interaction, every task, every piece of information goes into this box. But here's the thing, the box has limited space. If you keep filling it without ever emptying it, it becomes cluttered and overwhelming. There's no room for new thoughts, ideas, or relaxation to enter. To truly relax, you need to first empty the box. This means taking the time to process what's inside, acknowledging your thoughts, feelings, and experiences, and then 
and letting them go it's about creating space in your mind so that the relaxation can naturally flow in and one way to do this is through mindfulness now mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment without judgment it's about observing your thoughts and feelings without ever getting caught up in them by practicing mindfulness you can begin to process the contents of your mental box emptying it out so that you can make room for relaxation another technique is journaling writing down your thoughts and emotions can actually be powerful for clearing your mind when you put your thoughts on paper you're essentially taking them out of the mental box and giving them a place to exist outside of your mind and this can really create a sense of relief and help you to let go of any lingering stress so once you've emptied the box the next step is to allow your mind to settle this is where the concept of airing out comes in imagine you've just emptied your box but before you fill it in with new thoughts you need to let it sit to allow air to flow through it and to let it settle so in practical terms this means giving yourself permission to do nothing for a while instead of jumping from one activity to the next allow yourself some time to simply be sit quietly take a few deep breaths and let your mind wander this is not the same as forcing relaxation it's about creating a space for relaxation to naturally occur and you might find during this time that your mind continues to process unresolved issues that's okay let it happen this is the necessary part of the settling process your mind is sorting through what's left in the box deciding what needs further attention and what can be let go once your mind has settled you'll find the true relaxation becomes possible but here's the key approach relaxation with intention instead of forcing yourself to relax create an environment that naturally encourages relaxation this could be a quiet space a warm bath a nature walk or even listening to soothing music the goal is to engage in activities that allow relaxation to come to you rather than trying to force it upon yourself and remember relaxation is not a task to be completed it's a state of being to be experienced by emptying the box allowing your mind to settle and approaching relaxation with intention you create the conditions for genuine unwinding this is where true recharging happens this is where your mind and your body can rest reset and renew at the core of this process is the power of letting go letting go of the need to control every aspect of your life letting go of the pressure to relax and letting go of any unresolved issues that keep your mind cluttered when you let go you create space for new possibilities new insights and new levels of peace in today's world where busyness is often glorified it can be difficult to embrace the idea of doing less but sometimes doing less is exactly what we need it's in the quiet moments the pauses between activities where true relaxation and clarity can be found so the next time you find yourself struggling to relax remember this don't force it instead focus on emptying your mental box allowing your mind to settle and approaching relaxation with intention trust that by letting go you're creating that space for genuine relaxation to occur and in that space you'll find the peace and clarity that you've been seeking all along now life is a journey and along the way we accumulate experiences emotions and thoughts it's easy to get caught up in the busyness of it all to keep moving without ever stopping to process what we are carrying but the true growth and relaxation comes from taking the time to empty our mental boxes to let go of what's no longer serving us and to create a space for new possibilities as a life coach i encourage you to embrace this journey with a little bit more compassion and patience understand that relaxation is not the destination but a state of being that comes when we create the right conditions by letting go so take a deep breath let go of the pressure and allow your self to simply be but that's all for this video if you enjoyed this conversation you will most definitely enjoy the next video right here i'll see you there bye